What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Today, I want to talk about um, rapper Young Miami. And again, I, you know, she's one half of the City Girls, her and JT, and you guys know how I feel about them. But for the sake of this video, I, I'm not going to be roasting the City Girls. And the reason why, you know, they are a product of their own environment. And we cannot expect all of our people to make it um, and figure things out for themselves. As much as they're a victim of their own lives, they're responsible, but they're a victim of the system. I know some of you guys don't want to hear it. I'm not giving them an excuse to fail, but it is what it is, right? They are a victim of the system, okay? And I said that to say this. Um, young Miami has been through a tumultuous time, not just, you know, in her own career or even her own running partner, JT, has been in and out of jail, okay? But her own mother, who was charged with a hit and run incident back in 2009 and was convicted in 2017 in which she actually killed somebody is getting out of jail. All right. Now her mom, according to her is getting out tomorrow. Okay. Which is, I don't know if she's already out now, but um, she threw her a party, obviously, a, 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 you know, she threw her a party, a coming home party, which is, um, what she did. And her mom is, uh, is from what I understand is also a snitch. Okay. And she was released from prison and they threw her, um, a nice party. And again, an innocent lady was killed in a high speed collision. And, and they're celebrating the release of the lady. I could understand that because her mom. But I want to talk about this because a lot of times black men get blamed for being absent fathers, for not being in the child's life, okay? But what about the men that these ladies choose, okay? Because young Miami's mother and her boyfriend were both charged with that mother, with that, with that mother that died. Young Miami's mom took a plea deal and snitched on the boyfriend for less time in prison. Okay. The man is serving life. She's only served five years and she's getting a huge homecoming party. Although the mistakes that she made impacted young Miami as a young lady. Now, here's the problem with this. Nobody in black America will vilify a mom who's involved with a man that you create an incident when someone dies, you snitch on them, they get life, and you get out of jail and everything is all good. You know, mama can do no wrong. But how many mothers in our community are putting their daughters in bad situations and today i want to make this more about black women because we talk about black men a lot let's talk about black women many young black women out there have so many pressures on them to bail their mothers out of bad situations you know who the first person that makes black women masculine it's not dating or messing with black men. No, it's because mama has messed up. And mom has given the daughter a guilty complex. So the daughter has taken on a masculine mindset that I need to make it for my mother. I'm going to talk about it today. You know, and a young lady like young Miami, you know, she can't be feminine and, 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 and try to get with the right man and things like that because the mom has made some ridiculous choices in life that's impacted the daughter. Okay. 
That's the truth. We, we don't want to talk about the truth. We're going to talk about it right now. See, this is going on right now in black America. And you know why you have so many black women trying to go to college? You want to know why you have so many black women that are that are, that are, that are uh, making a lot of money but they end up broke? I'll tell you why. Because most of those black women have a mother who has made so many terrible decisions that that woman feels like she needs to bail her mother out of those bad decisions and see that mama can do no wrong that mom could have abused her have been really mean to her to have been rude to her and 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 and, 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 and brought all kind of different kind of guys around her you know not having no respect for her but that daughter is still gonna love that mama and that and that daughter has been abused by that lady either if it's been on purpose or on accident <clears throat> But that mother exposed that daughter into a ratchet ass life. Then we want to get mad when young Miami becomes what she is. There are so many black women right now that I know that went to college and went to medical school and did all of those things just so they can take care of their mom. Because the mom didn't make the best decisions to get with a man and do things like this. So that the daughter has to pay the price for the mother. This is no problem with young Miami. Her mother left her with two kids, no money. The daughter didn't know what she was going to do. Luckily, she was able to make it. How many black women don't make it? A lot of times, black women are afraid to even get married and get a husband because no. What about my mom? I got to be loyal to my mom. And the mom is the one that's making the bad decisions, bad mistakes. There's a guilt complex on many African-American women right now to have to be business owners. To have to go out there and, 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 and you know, these ridiculous standards that they have on, on, on black men. I will say that a lot of these women are trying to take on masculine uh, concepts to build for their moms. And black families typically put their kids into situations where they can't even be themselves. They can't even emotionally be the woman they're supposed to be. Because why? Mama didn't already told them, you got to do it by yourself. Ain't no nigga going to help you. Then you get somebody like young Miami who looks at men and don't look at them in the, in, in the same way that they should have. Because the mama didn't. Low qualities in choosing men. Because the mama didn't. No respect for men. Because the mama didn't. Weird, ridiculous expectations because the mama didn't. Then you wonder why we have this divide in black America because the moms are making those young girls, those young women, a lot of those young African-American women feel like they owe them something. It's not just black men who go through this. These mothers are doing this. These young girls are not going to college trying to find a husband to build their life. They're going to college to try to do everything on their own. And then when they can't do everything on their own and, 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 and it all fails, that's why they're stressed out. Want to know why so many women are, 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 are overweight? So many women are, are, are unhappy in, 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 because their mom made them think that they don't need to work in a system. You know, they're masculine enough to do it, even though the mom struggled. To take pride in struggling. To take pride in not having anything. To take pride in, in being, in being, that's ridiculous. And Young Miami is just an example of that. This is the reason why I don't really come from, uh, um, you know, I don't come for her like that. Because I understand. I understand. So many young black women and younger black women have been set up for failure by their mom. Okay, by their own moms. Then when the black man comes over there, he's ready to build with her. It's not going to happen. Okay, it's not going to happen. It can't happen. Because she's not ready. And, 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 and you just don't think that it's possible. You just don't think so. Okay. You just don't think so. And, and, and until, and I'm going to say this real quick, until 
this starts to change. It, expect black women to steal, still be doing bad. I'm sorry. Expect it to happen. Expect nothing to change for them. I don't care how much money you bail them out and give them. As long as their mothers are making them feel that they owe them something, they are not putting themselves in a position to be successful. The parents, men and women, expect to see young black women keep struggling like this. Having to make a way out of no way. You know, other groups of people get to start off with a positive thing in life. You know, get to start off that. No, not black people. Not black women. You know, not, not, not black men. You know, we have to start off to, to, to first of all, bail the people out who didn't, who did, who brought us into the world that couldn't do anything for us. We have to start with them first. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the black men purse t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.